morning we come giving our God glory. We come giving our God honor. We come giving our God praise because he's worthy, y'all. You know he's worthy this morning. Somebody ought to clap their hands up. in the name of Jesus. So we want to give God glory this morning. We want to give God praises for he's allowed us to cross into a new year. He's allowed us to see all the trials and the tribulations as well as all the, the joys that occurred in 2015 and now we've got another chance to do it again. To start over and to continue to, to know that he's with us every step of the way. And so as we give God glory this morning, we remind you of all the names that are on our prayer list. We remind you of all those who have had trials this past year. And some of them are maybe entering into the new year thinking, is it going to get any better? I don't know that it's going to be better or if it's not going to be as best and as, as good as they want it to be. But I know that God is able. I know that God can do any and everything except prevail. And I know that God says, Lo, I will be with you. I will be with you until the very end of the ages. So this morning, as we look at this list, a long list and yet a list that is not exhaustive, we will lift each of these persons. We lift each and every one of you that sits this morning in these pews. And I trust this morning that some of you are also standing in the gap for somebody else. Somebody who couldn't be here but maybe desired to be here. I pray that you will lift prayers for them this morning. Because the reality of the situation is that somebody prayed for you. And they had you on their mind. And they took that time to pray for you when you couldn't do it for yourself. And so may we do it, not only for ourselves this morning, but may we do, may we do it for others this day who need to know that there is still a man named Jesus who sits high and who looks low and who can do any and everything except for fail. So let us go to God this morning with praise on our lips, thanksgiving in our hearts as we offer our prayers unto our God. Let us pray together. Oh God, we come this morning just saying we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you. And God, we pause and we thank you for loving us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are God and you are God all by yourself. We thank you this morning, oh God, that we've got mind enough, that we've got sense enough to call on the name of Jesus. For oh God, we know that we didn't get where we are by ourselves. We know, oh God, that if you never do another thing for us, we can't thank you enough for all you've done, all you are doing, and God, all you are yet to do. Because we're still trusting in your word. We're still believing, oh God, you that began a good work, that you're going to be faithful until completed. God, this morning we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your commitment. We thank you, God, that you deemed us worthy enough that you would leave glory, that you would put on flesh, and that you would be born in the lowly manger, that you would be born outside with the animals because you loved us so, and that you would grow to a boy that would teach and preach, and then to a young man that would go out and Touch the untouchable, love the unlovable, heal the sick, feed the hungry, clothe those who are naked, that you did it for them and that you're still doing it today. And we're grateful for that, oh God. This morning as we come to you, Lord Jesus, we come, oh God, asking you to forgive us, Lord. of 
forgetfulness and that you say you forgive us and that to every day is yet another day to get right. Another day to, to try again and to do better than we did yesterday. And so today we thank you for a new beginning. We thank you for yet another opportunity to do better, to be better, not only from yesterday, but God, even better than we were an hour ago. But even 10 minutes ago, Lord God, because every moment we just want to go higher and higher and higher with you, Lord Jesus. We're still praying for higher heights. We're still praying for deeper depths, oh God. We're still asking you to help us to live into the fullness of who it is that you have created us to be from the very foundation of the earth, oh God.
we just pray that our worship would be a sweet, sweet smell to your nostrils. Let it be a wonderful sound to your ears. And Lord, that we not leave this place the same people as we were when we entered the door, but that instead we would be a people that would go out and tell the world about this man named Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for your life. We celebrate your birth. And we thank you that, yeah, you died, but you got up again. Oh, how we bless you. Oh, how we praise you. Oh, how we glory in you. We pray this in all of our prayers. In the sweet, sweet name of the living God. And God, we continue to call you sweet. Because, yeah, we taste it. And we know that you are a good God. So in the sweet, sweet name of the living God, Lord, we as your sons and your daughters, 